good afternoon students so today we are going to learn about the light process transportation so you all know the definition of transportation that it is the movement it is the movement of organ material or substances from one part of the body to other so it is transportation in this process the materials or the substances present in one part of the body move to the other part so that each and every part can be uh, getting the, all the things which are present and which are necessary plus this allows exchange of materials this allows exchange of useful substances and release of extra things from tissues of organ to and from tissues of organ now what is the importance why is this transportation important so importance of transportation is that that the balance there is a balance in the organism because the organism is continuously exchanging substances from environment so in unicellular organism diffusion will diffusion is enough diffusion is enough for transport but in higher organism a transport system proper transport system is necessary this is the difference that in unicellular organism diffusion is only enough to do the exchange of things but in the higher organism because we are complex we have a large number of cells body is made up of tissues organs so transport proper transport is necessary now we will understand about the transport in the plants so out of uh, transportation in organism today we are going to understand about transportation in plants then in the next video we will be learning about transportation in animals so in plants what which kind of what are the requirements of the transportation requirements of transportation process
So number one is that because simple organization. So now 
when you know about their structures, now you will be understanding how they can be transferred. So there are two basically two theories which help in the transport of uh, which help in understanding the transport. Number one is root pressure theory. So in root pressure theory, it is for smaller plants, you can say. Small heighted plants. Heighted plants. So if the plants are small heighted with the roots, they easily can get the water pass through their stem and it can reach to their whole height, whatever height they are. So if they are shrubs and herbs, so it can get the uh, particular water supply and this height is enough, this root pressure is enough for sustaining that transport. So what happened in the root pressure theory that various minerals which are present, different kinds of minerals are present in the soil. So through the active transport, these minerals accumulate inside the in large concentration in the root cells. Minerals are accumulated inside the root cells. So in this the the water level decreases. The osmotic potential of the roots decreases. So here, when the water potential decreases, then the water is moved from the higher concentration to the when we water the plant or the plant is getting rain water or water from a source irrigation. Then from the outer surrounding the soil, the water present in the soil is being dragged by the diffusion force and this force is known as root pressure. This, the force by which the water gets inside the plant is root pressure. So, the water comes inside the, inside from outside and with pressure outside with pressure called root pressure and it will it's enough to fulfill and fulfill water demand So 
form connected root xylem. So this is the way. This is there is a continuous channel. Xylem is making acting as a continuous channel of water transport, and wherever the water scarcity occurs, it pulls the water from below it, the tissues below it. So this is transpiration pull theory. So now for a diagram, from a diagram we can understand that if this is the tree, bigger tree, and it is having the xylem tissue, and the transpiration is going on from the stomata in the environment. So from the leaves, if I magnify one leaf, so from the leaf, the stomata, the transpiration is occurring and water is moving up. So here the scarcity occurs. Here the water scarcity or drop water potential decreases. Water level decreases. So it is going. This area is going to suck the water from the below. Just as we pull the water through the um, through the mouth through whenever we drink the drink or cold drink from the uh, that um, straw. So this same suction pull, suction pull is created. So this leaf xylem leaf xylem tissue is sucking the water from the stem xylem. So downward xylem tissue is stem xylem. This is leaf xylem. So leaf xylem is put upon the stem xylem. So leaf xylem is put, pushing the water from stem xylem. And stem xylem is connected to the connected to the root xylem. So this whole channel is interconnected and the water is pulled from the last tip and it is moving through the that continuous channel and it is going to the leaves. So this is the driving force transpiration pull theory and transpiration is a driving force for the movement of water in the plants. So I hope this topic is clear with you all. In the next video we are going to learn about the animal transport and you learn this from your NCRT. Thank you.